Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate. Welcome back to a new video. So I'm here back inside Roblox Studio. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own egg hatching system. So before we begin, then this is just a pet hatching system with an egg. So there's no inventory or anything like that. So you can see I have this egg hatching model. All it is is a model called egg case. Inside of it, we have an egg mesh. The bottom bit, the glass, and then the top. So you can see I have some pets down here. These are just some models with the name pet. Inside of them, we have a main part. Then the model's primary part is set to a main part. Inside the model, there's also a string value called rarity value. And the value is set to common. Same for a blue pet, but this one is uncommon. Same for a red, but that one is rare. Anyway, what we need to do now is make some leader stats to get some cash. If you go inside the script service, click plus, and in script, and name it leader stats, like that. And in the script, type in game, dot players, dot player added, oops, player added, colon, connect, two brackets, function, two more brackets, and then player. And then type in local, leader stats, equals instance dot new two brackets speech marks and then folder in between speech marks and brackets do a comma then type in player then type in leader stats dot name equals to speech marks and then leader stats so what this does is when a player joins the game then we create a new folder and put it inside the player and this folder is called leader stats then now we need to make a new value for the cache so local cache or whatever you want the cache to be called equals to instance dot new two brackets speech marks and then number value comma leader stats then go down then cache dot name equals to speech marks and then cash and then do the same for value but cash dot value equals to zero or how much cash you want them to have so to test it i'm going to be using a thousand cash last thing we need to do is make a new value to see if the player already has a pet so local pet equipped equals to instance dot new two brackets string value then comma this time we're going to put it inside the player instead of leader stats because we don't want to see it in the player list then pet equipped dot name once again equals to pet equipped then pet equipped dot value equals to and then two empty speech marks like that. So this just makes a new value inside a player called pet equipped and the value is set to nothing. But if the player actually buys a pet, then we'll change this value to the name of a pet. So close off the script. Then now, inside replicate storage, click plus, add in a folder and name it to pets folder. Inside of it, drag all your pets inside of it. Oh yeah, also, also make sure your pet inside of it is not anchored and has can collide off, like this. So make sure both of them are turned off for all your pets. Now, if you go inside the server script service, click plus, add in a module script. So make sure it's a module script. Now, if you rename it to pet module, like that. And as you can see, we already have this script already made. So in local module equals to and then these brackets. Then return module. If you just change module to pet module. And the same for this one. Like that. So in between these brackets, we can go down like this. So there's one up here and one down here. And in between that, we can type in rarities equals to two point brackets once again in between them go down 
And now we can start typing out how rare our rarities are. So common equals two, and then how common you want it to be. The higher the number, the more common it is. So let's do like 80, then comma, go down, then uncommon equals two. And let's do like 30, comma, then rare equals two. And then we could do like five or something like that. You can add more rarities if you want, just by doing a comma, going down, adding the name, and then the number. You can also add in more pets by duplicating a pet, changing the rarity value and the name. But anyway, here is our module. Close it off. Okay, now we need to make a GUI. To do that, click start the GUI, click plus, add in screen GUI. We can name it to hatching GUI or something like that. Now what we need to do now is add in a frame, change size to one, comma zero, comma one, comma zero. Then change transparency to one. Inside the frame, click plus, add in an image label. And now we can just customize our GUI. So this is going to be an egg, which appears on screen. Okay, so here's my GUI. We can rename the label, the image label to egg image. Another thing we need to do is inside frame, add in a folder. This folder is going to hold all the pet images. So we can name this to pet images. Inside of it, we can add in a image label, then customize it with a picture of each pet. Okay, so here's my first image. We also need to make sure the name of the image matches exactly the same with the name of the pet. So if we check the pet, it's just called green pet. So we need to rename this to green pet, like that. We can also reposition it. So once again, make sure the image inside is inside the folder. But I'm just going to do the same for my two other pets. So once you've got all your images, if you select them all, then make sure visible is unticked so you can't see them. We could also do the same for the egg image. Make sure that's invisible. And now we have our GUI. Now what we need to do is select the egg case, add in a click detector inside the model like this. And now we also need to add in a script inside the model. We name this to like main script. So remove print hello world. I'm just gonna add in a quick note for variables. Then go down. So if you type in local pets folder equals to game the replicate storage colon find first child speech marks and then pet folder or pets folder. Then local pets module equals to require two brackets, then game dot so script service dot pet module like that. We could also rename this to pet module instead of pets. Then go down, type in local players using equals to and then two point brackets. Go down and then local price equals to and then the price of your egg. And now I could just type in buy egg or something and now if type in script dot parent dot click detector dot mouse click colon connect two brackets function two more brackets and then player now type in local character equals player dot character Then we go down and type in if player is using square bracket and then player. Outside brackets, type in equals equals to true, then return end like that. So what this player is using is, is kind of like a D route. So if player is already using the egg hatching, 
then we won't be able to buy multiple eggs at once. Now if we go back down here, type in players using square bracket player equals to true. Now if we type in if player dot leader stats dot cash dot value is higher or equals to price, then player dot leader stats dot cash dot value minus or minus equals price like this. So this checks if the player has enough cash to buy the egg and if they do then it'll take away the amount of cash from their leader stats. Now if you type in local pets table equals to two point brackets then for i comma pet in pairs two brackets pets folder colon get children two brackets and then do and this gets the all the pets out of the pets folder then type in local rarity equals to pet dot rarity value dot value so this is a variable for the pets rarity value so we can check how rare the pet is. Then type in for i equals to one, comma, pet module dot rarities, then square bracket, rarity, and then do, then table dot insert, two brackets, pets table, comma, pet. Then if we go down from these two ends like this, also, this just adds in the pet into a pets table. Now, if we go down, now type in local chosen pet equals to pets table square bracket math.random two brackets, then one comma hashtag pets table. And what this does, it gets a random pet, it gets one random pet out of the pets table like this using math.random then local pet clone equals to chosen pet colon clone two brackets and this clones the chosen pet now if you type in local hatching gui equals to player dot player gui colon wait for child two brackets, speech marks, and then hatching GUI, then local egg image equals to hatching GUI, colon, find first child, bracket speech marks, then frame, that's our brackets, type in colon wait for child, bracket speech marks, then egg image, then egg image dot visible equals to true. So this makes it so once you hatch the egg, then it'll set the egg image to true. Then type in local tick, make sure it's with a capital T equals to, then tick two brackets, and type in local timer equals to, and then let's do three. Then type in while tick two brackets minus and then tick with capital T then then lower than timer and then do now we can rotate the egg so egg image dot rotation equals to eight then weight 0.05 and do the same so copy paste this change that to zero, do the same, but make sure this is minus eight. Once again, make sure this is zero. Then make sure there's a weight down here, like this. So this rotates the egg from side to side before the egg opens. Then if we make the egg image dot visible equals to false. Now if you type in local pet image, equals to hatching GUI 
colon find first child, bracket speech marks, and then frame. Then that's our brackets, do dot pet images, then colon find first child, brackets, now type in chosen pet dot name. So this is variable for the pet's image and we get the pet image that has been chosen. So it's important to make sure the two names of the image and model match up. So if you type in pet image dot visible equals to true, then let's add in a wait of three. So wait three seconds, then pet image dot visible equals to false. Then players using square bracket player equals to false. So this makes it so the player, once they've hatched an egg, they can hatch it again. If type in if player dot pet equipped, which is that value we made, dot value doesn't equals to plain speech marks and character colon find first child bracket speech marks. Actually, we don't need um, speech marks. We just need player dot pet equipped dot value then character colon find first child once again brackets then player dot pet equipped dot value as our brackets do colon destroy two brackets and make sure there's an end down here so what this does it checks if the um, player already has a pet and if we do then it just gets rid of that pet for now if you do want it so you have an inventory system then you don't have to destroy a pet you can like put the parent somewhere else but we won't be doing that in this video maybe in a future video so type in pet clone dot parent equals to character then player dot pet equipped dot value equals to pet clone dot name then we're going to be making a body position so local body position equals instance dot new two brackets speech marks and then body position comma pet clone then body position dot max force equals to vector three dot new two brackets then math dot huge comma math dot huge then comma math dot huge like that oh yeah we also need to do dot main part for this so make sure we do pet clone dot main part for the parent like that now local body i think gyro or gyro or something equals instance dot new two brackets speech marks then body gyro once again comma pet clone dot main part then body gyro or gyro dot max talk so make sure it's spelled like this equals to then once again we can just copy paste this so vector3.new and then math.huge the last thing we need to do is while wait two brackets and then do then do body position dot position equals to character dot humanoid root part dot position plus c frame dot new then let's do two comma two comma two actually this needs to be vector three dot new so vector three instead of c frame then body gyro dot c frame equals two once again character dot humanoid root part dot c frame and that should be it so this should be the entire script done like this okay we've got an error i forgot to do on 
this line, this needs to be a lowercase r, like that. So make sure you spell everything right. Once again, click play. So once again, click the egg. The image appears. After a few seconds, we've got a green pet. Then we now have our green pet. It follows like this. It also takes away 100 cash and it follows us. If you buy another one, it'll probably be a green one again. There we go, we've got another common one like this. Then it should replace the other pet. If we change the values of the rarity, to so make common more rare, let's see if we can get a uncommon one. So because I change rarity value and click it, let's see if we get a uncommon pet. There we go, we got the blue one, like this. So it works with rarity, and we could buy another one. Got another blue one. Let's see if we can get a red one. If we click it, there you go, you can see we got a red one like this and guys that's going to be for this video if this video helped make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe down below in the description you can check out my roblox group and discord server and i'll see you later bye